expert, CEO of Syntonomy. Now, Mr. Waidaka, yep. let me just ask, what is investment? Let's break it down for someone who is in Ikolo Money, another one in Kiambu, Isiolo, who's listening mm -hmm. from di diaspora. Let's start for what is investment in your opinion? Or what is an investment? Well, the word is used very broadly. Yes, investment especially is used, in Kenya. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's why I said the world. it. Yeah. <laughs> Kenyans, we are good. We are just like other people around the world. But yes. um, it's used broadly to speak about where you put something in yes. with a hope for return. And I, I used the word something for a reason because yes. it's not just money. It's, okay. it's time. It's effort. Oh. It is relationship. I like so how you, you're saying it. Because yeah. I've always thought it's money. It's not just money. Because, uh, hey, so much of... It will come back to money at some point, yes. right? But a lot of the investment that we make with our time, our effort, we talk about our relationships, does come back in a money form. True. So, uh, I'll give you a, an example. Most of the jobs that people get are usually through relationships. Yes. That's the thing. And, and and I'm not talking about nepotism. I'm not talking about that kind of thing. As an employer, and I'm sure you've worked with, with different people. Yes. As an employer, you don't want to have to go through the interview process. True. You want to the know who has Waidaka yeah, worked with. Yeah. Who has who have How you worked Barbara? with? Barbara? How is the Duchess? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And often even that's, that's the experience. When some when you've met somebody who is high quality, they, they left a mark on your life. When you have a role that comes up in your organization and you're like... Mm, Barbara came to mind. Yes. Hey, we need the Duchess in yes. the house. Yes. That kind of, because you have invested in the relationship will come back to you. Yeah. So that's why I said something. Because you're putting in something with a hope of return. What does that mean? You're hoping that there will be a multiplying effect over time. So that's just a way to think about what investment is. And so the same thing when now we talk about money, you will put money into a uh, an investment tool and the idea is that over time you will get a return on your money. That's the gr that's the growth element that we talk about uh, with investments. So, what type of investments are available in our market or Kenya? Now, I'm looking mm -hmm. at, and I get the part of the resource, the time, the, the energy, and the monetary part. Yep. So, what is available to the market if I have a, if someone is seated uh, in their home? What can I invest in? What can't I invest in? You can invest in almost. And who can invest and who can't? <laughs> because I'm asking yeah. that. Yeah. I saw, uh, you know how people send things in the newspaper? Yeah. Someone had sent to Standard Digital yeah. that I am a 28-year-old mm -hmm. and maybe I'm earning 28,000 mm -hmm. and I'd like to be a homeowner in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Shock on you, the comments there mm -hmm. were very selfish and funny. They were like, the comments were like, ah, chick, you can't get there. You get. And yeah. I'm thinking, why do we think like that? So who can invest and who can't? Can I speak to her? Yes. Because she's, she's, uh, this is perfect. Perfect example of what we're discussing here. When, we, if I were to list all the possible investments that there are, I would be here for the entire four hours plus for another day. <laughs> if I was to list all the investments that are yes. available, there are many. Okay. True. But what this young lady did was what we need to do before we invest. Okay. She set a goal because that goal is the one that is going to inform the investment that will get you or there. your investment decision. Think about investments like roads. Yes. This is the thing. There's one road that will take you to Ikoloman. Yes. There's one road that is going to take you to Mombasa. There's yes. one road that's going to take you to Isiolo. So where am I going? That's so if you know saying. where you're going, then mm. you pick the investment that will get you there. Could it be that in our society, many of us don't yeah. have those goals that you're talking about? Just because I hear quail eggs are doing good, I hear sp selling sponges or selling masks, yes. I all jump in because I don't have a goal. And along the way, some make it, some don't. Because yeah. we're looking for money. We're not looking for a result. Who's not looking for money? <laughs> but what are you looking for money for? Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. If I'm looking for money, for instance, to send my children, let's say, to a private university here in Nairobi, please understand that that is a very different plan yes. than it is to send them to the local college down True. the road from where the we are. The cost is different. It's completely different. Both yes. of them require money. But is it, is it the same money? It's not It's the not. Same. When I go into a shop and I ask for a specific type of phone, whichever phone that we're looking for, they... The, it is not the same if you're going to buy, name all the, the top-end brands, whether it's iPhone or whatever. It's not the same as buying one of the 
Kabambe is on the side of, of the street. Both of them are phones. They don't cost the same amount. True. So if I go into a shop with this different mindset, thinking that I'm going to be able to buy that iPhone for 100,000 plus, and I have 50 shillings in my pocket, I'm cheating myself. So if you're chasing money, you're chasing the wrong thing. Okay. In fact, can I, can I give you a statement that changed my life? Please. A gentleman called Dr. Miles Monroe, if you ever heard him speak. Yes. He spoke about it and he put yes. So he put it in, um, in perfect words. He said, young man, young woman, don't chase after money. Chase after value. Because if you find value, money will chase after you. Yes. That's the difference when it comes to this idea of investment. Because if we're coming in with the mindset of, oh, I just want money. My very next question. In fact, if you ever come into a Centonomy class, most people will say, oh, we want to be rich. Poor answer. <laughs> the question I will follow immediately is how rich. Okay. Because it is relative. That's true. Yeah. Another person will be 10,000 rich, another one a million rich, people another think, billion it, it, rich. Correct. Some yeah. people think that 10,000 shillings is a lot. Yes. In fact, some people think even a billion shillings. Oh, if I become a billionaire in Kenya shillings, do you understand if you're a billionaire in Kenya shillings, you don't even show up on any list in a global wealth True. measurement. Of course. Do you see, do you see yes. what I'm talking yeah. about? So it's relative to different people. So if you are going to start investing, you must start with a goal. Because the goal will set you up for what investments you need to make. And it may not just be an... In One of the mistakes we make about the investment strategies, we think there is a specific... You know, there's a magical, magical investment somewhere where I'm going to take my 20 <laughs> shillings and it will become 20 million shillings and suddenly, you know, that, that sounds like uh, because that's what gambling. Because yeah? that's what we hear. Nilikuwa na kukutatu. I had four chickens and, and then, then they multiplied. Yes. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the theory I'm saying that Kenyans propagate. It is not. <laughs> if you listen to that farmer's story, they didn't just become three chickens and four chickens and a hundred chickens and just like that. They didn't ask him about how much he had to buy those pesticide things. He had to buy feed for them. Some of them died. He had to go borrow from his neighbor. And be, the story is not one chicken to a, a million chickens. No, mm -hmm. the story is the process to get there. But here's the thing. What that young lady said, I want to be a homeowner in this period of time. Now we can have a, a conversation. Because now there's a yes. goal and there's an end to it. Correct. I like how you've put across that many of us do not have goals or vision of what we want. We just want to be rich. Mm -hmm. Now I'll ask you, mm -hmm. what are the factors that I need to consider? One of them I've had its goal before I invest. Yeah. So once you have a goal, the very next thing, please invest in education. Because now when you understand the various investments... Education to myself or to the yourself. course? For yourself. Okay. So that you begin to understand this kind of investment will get me here. This kind of investment will get me here. These are the potential risks and the potential returns of these kind of investments. And here's the thing. I'm speaking about you. Not that you trust everybody who's going to come and tell you. Because everybody has an agenda for your money. By the True. way, imagine Barbara have a plan for your money. In case you didn't know. <laughs> I have a plan. I'm in yes, business. Of course. And so I want you to purchase from me. So I have a plan for your money. And another person also has a plan for my money. So everyone has everyone has a plan for your money. So you better be the one with the best plan. So that you're able to pick and say... This is the one that is going to work for me. Yes. And education, I don't mean that you have to go to university or anything like that. Buy a book. Right now on YouTube, go and watch as many videos as you possibly and can. And they're available. Pay attention on, exactly. Pay attention on a show like this. Actually have a notebook and pen next to you right now. Because there's some things you'll hear that will affect the next decision that you're going to go to. But I think you need, we need to take it to the next level. Because as I see, I told you I'm in business. Yes. So we're not giving away information yeah, just for, for free. free. Yeah, no. I understand. So <laughs> pay for a book. Pay for a class like at Centonomy. Because that will then open your eyes to the opportunities that are out there in front of you. And you learn about things that you never knew before. For instance, let, can I give you an example please, of, what, of what that was? Many people here, you know, I don't know how many of you used to watch the news. And you know, the time that the, the, the business news comes on. Everyone is all to keep quiet. Every, no, what Tula do you mean skiza. keep quiet? That's the time you change channels. People oh, go yes. buy tea. I mean, go get oh, tea from the kitchen. Okay, in my and house, my dad used to make us to watch business. Well done for your dad. <laughs> that is different. Most households I, at its business news, it's uh, now, those numbers. Then you hear at it today. There were more trades in government bonds than there were in the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. But for many people, you think government bonds, eh, ni awakubwa. It is for something. For in, I don't even know where they are. 
one of our trainers uh, at Centronomy is a brilliant guy. He, he's, a, he's an investment analyst. He actually does investments. And one of the first assignments that he gives people when, he, when they come into the class is please take a walk to Central Bank or any Central Bank branch near you, because I know this is going around the country, yes. and open an account at Central, Central Bank. They, I can just open one. You, out of curiosity. First of all, I didn't even know you can even walk into Central Bank. Are you informing me? Me, I, the only time I walked into Central Bank, I was looking yeah. for a tender. No, okay, <laughs> I but did. I didn't know I can open an account. Correct. So because you know, you look at it, you see all the guards outside. You see all the. I didn't know as a Kenyan, I have a right to walk into the, the Central Bank and open an account. With my ID, with and my. In fact, they are so helpful when you walk into that place because they'll explain to you what a government bond is and how it works. They give you all the paperwork, and now you have access to an investment that you didn't know beforehand. And it's small nuggets like that that begin to separate people. It was simply, and for me, it was a knowledge issue. I, mean, I thought Central Bank. They talk about economy. They talk about what me, they talk you about. Just informed me that I can open it. I didn't know that you can open it. It's called a CDS account. Yes. And when you open that, it gives you access now to the bonds market. Okay. If you I don't, look, I yeah. thought you could open it with brokerage firms. So I knew about the CDS account, but yes. I didn't know I can do it myself. Yes. This is what I'm saying. Simple information. Yes, it may be more convenient to go through yes. a brokerage fudge, which it, means you don't have to go to Haile Selassie Avenue or and, wherever. And they're the ones who advertise about it, so we've never known. But remember, when you go through a farm, they're not doing it for free. It's a cost. So you pay something. Yes. Imagine if you walk there to Central Bank by yourself, it is free. I've saved some money. You have. So here's the thing. If we don't have education around these things, and I mean education, because there are many different types of investments that are out there. And what it, the problem is, is if you're not aware of them, first of all, you don't have access. Yes. And secondly, if you're aware of them, but you don't know how they work. Like that's a, a question I'm sure that's going to come up. So how does a bond work? Yes. It's not complex. It's not rocket science. And if you sat in a, in a class or you read a paper and, and or sat next to an investment analyst and asked them, how does this act thing actually work? Then it opens your ability to make choices. Yeah. That was the, the, the second one that you asked me. Yes, I asked yes. about a factors. You told me about education. Correct. We talked about goals. Educate Set a goal. goals. That was the first. Yes. Second, we've talked about education. Yes. Third. So oh, can I finish on education? Please go ahead. Ha. Huh. Do you know that even I, who am in this business of, uh, of investment and uh, teaching people around uh, entrepreneurship, I don't know everything. And so when cryptocurrency came up, mm -hmm. remember this was the biggest thing a couple of years ago. I'm telling you, even within the <laughs> office, I had producers <laughs> trying to hook me up. With and every I'm, coin. <laughs> and I remember, I'm like, I eat a sandwich. Yes. <laughs> so the mistake people were making, especially when it was coming up, is they were listening to snippets on Instagram they had an uncle saying so. They had a workmate saying this. Yeah. What I did, I went for every single seminar that was available to me. Because imagine they want to sell, they wanted to sell you something. And it's not cheap money. Yeah. So I want I go and sit and listen. So I ask them, so how do I put money into it? So how do I get money out of it? So what is the actual value of it? What's the technology behind it? So that in the sessions that I was sitting to learn about, please don't just listen to me here telling you about actually learn what the investment is. Make before. an initiative. Yes. Because, yeah, I love, the, you know, you give that example at the beginning. It's the famous Kenyan one of quail eggs. Imagine yeah. there's a lot of money in quail eggs. The people who made money, they the people lost money. Not even who made, they are making yes. till this day. Yeah. Those who didn't know, those or did who not didn't know yes. are losing. But those who knew what they were doing flourished and thrived. They were just fine. Yes. And that's the thing. We think that it's that quick, get rich quick. Or oh, if everyone is doing it, that you're going to be able to do it in the same way. You didn't do the research to think. I, I, we like to have this conversation. How many people have even seen a quail or seen a quail egg <laughs> in their lives? You know what I mean? Yes. You're probably better off getting chicken, first of all, because you'll sell those chicken. Even to your neighbor, you can sell chicken. But yes. that quail, you can't sell. But if you imagine for those who it understand has a the quail. Market. That's it. Yes. That's it. But if you enter it because everyone else has entered, you don't know what the risks are. You don't know what the potential upside is as well. And so education matters. If you're interested in crypto, there are so many seminars coming up online. There are seminars that are in person. Go sit. Just listen. 
That was my job. I think that's where we fail as yeah, Kenyans. Yeah. Many a times we're given these opportunities or we hear about them. Mm-hmm. Then the first thing like, ah, pana, pana. <laughs> but now I want to hear from a friend, from a colleague, yet yeah. I don't want to go and get that first hand information. And that's I like right. the way you're talking about education and financial literacy is very important. Because if we are honest, some of us, the last class that we had, it was BED, business education. That is where oh, you learned it in campus, economics 101, and it ended there. Yeah. <laughs> And that's often very academic, if you think about it. Yes. And it's speaking to somebody who may enter into the industry from an academic point of view. And this is something we noticed. And all those who are in the investment world, you know, the, the Swahili saying, Mganga haji gangi. Kweli. You've, you've had, you, you know what that, that means is that often... Da, haji tibu. Hey, thank you very much. When somebody is on, in the inside of it, I've seen even accountants who study how money works in a business get very confused when they open their own business because their skill set was to be plugged into a business, not to have the full vision of what the business is. Because now they have a variety of other needs yeah. and other things, opportunities that are, are at their desk yes. and they were only uh taught or they were only able to do one set of skill. That's right. If you're just joining in, <laughs> I am the Duchess of Ecolomani. <laughs> and today we're having a conversation with the CEO of Ascentonomy Limited, Mr. Waidaka Gatumia. The conversation we are asking is, or we are having is, what do you need to know before investing? He's talked about having a goal. Do you have a goal? He's talked about education. Many of us don't want to hear that part. Have you been see, going for these seminars? Have you made an effort to know or learn more about this information or this business you want to invest in? Or you're listening to your brother, step cousin, and your friend in the <laughs> office. Allah, you're going to be in trouble. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Spice. The education. What else do we need to consider before we get into any investment? Money. <laughs> the capital itself. <laughs> you have to talk about money. <laughs> and I think... Uh, Big money or small money? There's such a thing as small money. Uh, uh, it could be... You have some small... I, I can have your small money. I, don't, <laughs> I can hold it for you. If you don't want... If you think it's too small for you, I can hold for you. Please understand. Think about the big companies in this, in this uh, nation. Think about um, your... Uh, Safaricoms. Think about your equity banks. Yes. What are they making money on? Where is the money? Is on that what? Yes. That I small transaction that you've just made. I don't think Those of, 15 shillings, 20 what shillings. What do you mean 15? T- five, five cents. Uh, five may, cents oh, per transaction. But you do a billion transactions in a day. So yeah. What are you talking about? They've made their money. There's a thing called small money. No. There's no small money. There's no small money. Uh-huh. Anyway. Last thing to consider. Yes. I think... Anyone who's going to get into the investment space, and we are all investors, let's just agree on that. We are all investors, Uh, some more knowledgeable than others. I'm not claiming to be the most knowledgeable, but I'm learning and I continue to learn and make sure that you, you, you engage with the right people to learn. We need to come to terms with this factor that in order to achieve many of the goals that we are going to set, we cannot continue to earn the same amount that we are earning today. Please what does that mean? Mm-hmm. If I am currently, let's go back to my first job out of university. Yes. And I, and I was at a, at a station just like this. Because mm-hmm. I, I did communication when I was in school. So I went to a station just like this. And I, I think after, after uh, two months not being paid, mm-hmm. <laughs> they said, come and just work. We'll see if you're going to be there. Let's see. Let's see yeah. if you can do. And, mm-hmm. and it was worth it because you're building a reputation in that place. It was a hard two months, but it was what we had to do. Yes. I started pay, being paid. I think uh, the total I was, uh, gross amount was 19,000 bob. Mm-hmm. University student with a good degree. Good degree of earning 19K. At least you're uh, good. I started with 8,500. Well done. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> If I continued to earn, uh, or you continued to earn 8,000 yes. per month, you could not achieve the goal that you want of that house that you want to live in, True. of that retirement that you want to have if you remain at 8,000 bob. Yes. It will be a long time till I get where I need to be. So how can I go back to that original statement that I made? Don't chase money. Chase value. Mm. Become valuable. What does that mean? A valuable employee, if you are an employee, is one who shows up early. 
Okay. A valuable employee is the one you can trust. A valuable employee is not the one who just does what they have been told to do, but they go over and above. And I don't mean that, you see, because sometimes people listen to that and then they think, oh, but I work in a factory and I'm supposed to do exactly like this and exactly like this. That is. Someone said, do you want me to suck up? Yes, I do. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't mean that you, you know, yes. when, when you think about it in that sense, you're thinking it from, from, from a negative perspective. And often that is to put down others around you okay. in order for you to look better. No, I mean become actually more valuable. Okay. I mean actually search after how you can be of value to your employer and more importantly to your current boss. Okay. Some people may think that is sucking up. What I tell you, and in fact, the only reason that you're seated in this room, I know, is because you showed your value to those who are in charge in this station where you are. Yes. And the more you show your value, the more they give you responsibility. And the more my value goes up. And as your value goes up, imagine, let's not even talk about a factory. But, but let me finish the one on the factory, then I give yes. you another example. Yes. So in the factory, yes, you are supposed to do certain things exactly the way they're supposed to be done on the factory floor. But when you are leaving, is there trash on the floor? Who are you leaving that trash for? Imagine if you picked it up. If you go to the break room where everybody has their tea and coffee and afterwards you clean up afterwards and you make sure that the place looks spot it doesn't spotless. Cost me a thing. If you go into that place and you check on your fellow employees and just call them. It's not just about your boss, even those who are at your level or below you. Call them and say, hey, how are you doing? Are you okay? Check up on them. Find out about their birthdays. And Suddenly, if you sh don't show up at work, it's like the office didn't. You know, things are going wrong there because you have made yourself so valuable. Oh. I like that because some people, even if you don't shout uh, to work, no one cares. In fact, people are happy. She's not yes. at the office today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to leave the room and people are wishing that you would come back. Okay. That's the value we need to That's be looking for. That's the value you're looking for. Get the education. Try out those new, the new things that are being done in the office. We ran a program called the Centronomy Career Hub. And there was this lady who was in banking. She, she was an amazing story. This lady is a hard worker. Hard worker. Lorna came and she said, I've been working eight years in this bank and I wanted a promotion. I never got that promotion. I said, I used to work so hard. I showed up. I did everything. It's not just also about the work. Yeah. It's also about building the social capital that we're talking about here. Okay. So we told her in the class, you have to take a leap. You have to do something different than what you're doing in order for you to be noticed. She was the kind of person who does the work, but when it's time for, oh, there's, you know, there's and an the office extra. party, there's whatever. Ah, she, that's the time. Now you look down, you're not being offered. This time she put her hand up. There was a project that was being run within the organization. She was put in charge of the directors of that organization. And now because she had been doing the work, she knew what she was doing. She was telling the directors, you're going to speak at this time. You're going to do this. She showed them an event. She took a leap of faith, which, leap of faith? which normally she wouldn't do. Do you know the HR director called in and said, what do you want? That was the question. She got moved to the branch that she wanted and doubled, more than doubled her salary. It just took that leap of faith. And it took the effort that we're talking about. Okay. Please understand. It's not, she didn't get it because j she just talked. You know that those people who are just, you know, sucking up and doing all those kind of things. When they, act, when they are actually given responsibility, it falls apart. Yes. But because she married the two, she was able to grow her, her, her value, even as we talk about it. Can I give you one more example? The one, the one I was talking yeah, about. the one you're talking about is someone who oh. has earned their value over time. Think about this. For everyone who has ever employed a house help, you know, the ones our domestic managers. Yes. The ones who are good, when they start showing oh, I think I need to go ho back home and whatever. What do you do? Add their salary. <laughs> do some things. You always remunerate <laughs> them. Yes. You make them comfortable. Because I have been guilty of that many times. No, you're not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I have mine for six years. <laughs> I've had mine for six years. She put herself in that position because she became valuable to you. So I'm not talking about jobs in a factory. I'm not talking. When you build your value, it doesn't matter where you are. It cuts across. The money will come. And that is the thing. We stop chasing money, chase value. Because if you find that value, money is chasing value right now like you can never believe. That's what it is. If you just join the conversation, <laughs> this is Spice FM. The show is the adults in the room. Do you have value? 
are you consistent in your work or are you wishy-washy? The, M, the CEO of Centenum is saying money is chasing value. If you did not hear that clip, as I go on break, we have our socials and we have our stream, www.spicefm.co.ke. I'll be taking a 30 minutes or a 30, pardon me, a 30 seconds break, breather. Go to a stream, just do reverse for about a minute <laughs> hear what he has said because many of us when we think about money when we think about promotions we forget we need to have some value do you have value that's the question i'm asking you plug into this conversation through our social media handles spice fm ke on instagram facebook and twitter if you have a question throw it there remember we also have our whatsapp line 0110288162 and of course you can also call in i'm the duchess of economy sugar and spice and everything nice oh yeah spice money chasing paper how do you have you educated yourself with what you want to invest or the investments that are available financial literacy is something that is very important and many of us have been neglecting this particular part then he talked about the money and not the literal money of course money is important but he also talked about the value you as a person you as a worker you with your ethics are you ethical can you work now let's get into the business of the day you can plug into this conversation through our stream on www.spicefm.co.ke you can also send in your questions on our social media handles spicefmke on instagram facebook and twitter i see your comments thank you very much to everyone who's following amos from kimi lili another one from nyeri i but they have a lot of people from nyeri hey, naona, watu wa mashana, mogonda, mogonda. i see you all i thank you for the information someone has said thank you for the information about the cd S account yes we've also learned something about that but let's get back to the business we shall be reading and sampling your views as we get along now when it comes to investment mr waidaka mm -hmm. uh we've talked about the factors we've talked, you've enlightened us what uh, we need to consider and people uh, talk about risks yep. quite a lot what do you think as of someone who wants to invest mm -hmm. how do i need to understand risk when it comes to investments so because different uh different uh, mm -hmm. investments have different risks correct yes so when you think about risk risk is saying this investment has the potential to give a return but in as much as it has the potential to give a return it also has the potential for loss yes okay so it's speaking about potential and generally as a rule potential of, is it's like 50 50 no now you have put numbers <laughs> which is completely now opposite no 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 no, no, no don't put numbers uh -huh. we are just saying potential okay. it has the ability to give you a return or it may give a loss okay, okay? now the number when you say 50 50 it means that is a very risky <laughs> investment because i have one time you lose, the other time you'll you gain. You know, some of us look at investments <laughs> like that. Like, it can go no, either way. No, no, they're not. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, that is not it. And so it has the potential. Okay. So here's the thing. As a general rule of thumb, the higher the risk, the higher the potential return. Okay. So the word is, key word is potential. Correct. So here's the thing. If, if, if you're going to get into an investment, hey, Mr. Hidaka, this is, <laughs> and it's my money. <laughs> you have to have an idea of the goal because there are certain goals you cannot reach without taking a specific amount of risk. Yes. Can I make this a, a bit more real for us? Yes, in life? break it down. Break it down for that lady in Ecolomani, that one yes. in Yeri, Kimilili. <laughs> So, we, we deal with risk every single day in our lives. Let me give you a perspective. If I get in my personal vehicle, I'm taking a risk. Yes. Think about the number of accidents that happen on the road every single day. Hey, there are many and it's there, quite sad. There are many accidents. Especially on this express where my health told me to stop using it. But in the morning <laughs> when you need to get to work, do you start thinking, oh my, are you so worried when you're getting into your personal car when you're going to work? Mm. Why? No. Because you have weighed the risk of getting into this car and getting to your workplace yes. and saying it is more beneficial for me to get to my workplace than it is to t than than it is to not go because of the risk factor that I'm going to get into. It. Yes. Now, 
if I'm to get to my workplace and I use my car, there's an element of risk. Mm -hmm. If I get into public transport, like I'm a tattoo, maybe the risk increases. Why? Because I'm not so sure about the driver, the quality of the, the vehicle that's in it. Pickpockets. Uh, Pickpockets, all those things. Yeah. However, it's cheaper. Yes. So now I'm dealing with two things. There's the cost. So driving my car is more expensive. Hey, even yeah. now with, hey, with the petrol. With the fuel. fuel. Anyway, <laughs> if I get into a matatu, bit higher risk, but lower cost. So the return is higher. Okay. So the return of you using public transport is... Is higher uh, because is higher. I've spent but less yes. to achieve the same But the goal. risks are more. The risk has increased. increased. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's move on. I can get onto a motorcycle. Now, I'm not saying anything against the border border business or anything like that. It's simple statistics. And these are just examples. Just examples. To, yes. Simple statistics of being on two wheels mm -hmm. versus being on four. four You're wheels. less stable. Yes. But guess what? You get through traffic faster. Yes. Most likely. You get to the place that you're going to go faster. Yes. You may pay about the same rate or just a bit more than you would on a matatu. Yes. And achieve the same goal. So you've taken a higher risk and achieved even more. Yeah. And saved time. So every day we are dealing with risk. Yes. And anybody who comes and tells you that there is an investment without any risk, please run away from them immediately. Tell you it's a guarantee. You if know, my <laughs> uncle took this. My <laughs> sister tried it. Uh -huh. So anyone who comes to you and says this is the case, that it, there's no risk, zero risk, run fast. Because that person is like, there is no investment without an element of risk. Okay. So there are some investments with lower risk. But here's the thing. Remember the rule of thumb. Yes. If you take lower risk, the return is also lower. Tends to, to be lower. lower. The potential. So what does a wise investor like every single listener who's listening to us now must do? We take what is called calculated risk. Okay. Did you see how we said now? If from, you, the matatu from the matatu to the, matatu to the car to the, the car border. To the border. Yes. Now you decide. Which one is the best? For you now. For you and the situation and what you want to achieve. Okay. Let me tell you. That's where we come to calculated. Correct. Because it's calculated according to you and personalized to you. Thank you. Okay. So I had a very important job and it was here just next to us here in industrial area. Yes. And I was on the other side. I was in Westlands. There was mad traffic. This was before the expressway was completed. It was just crazy. And our, our road was just. Uh, uh, I moved from Westlands. To Museum Hill, it took me an hour. I was now, I w the presentation I was going to give was in 30 minutes. And you're in Westland. And I'm in Museum, Museum, Museum Hill. Hill. You're okay. not reaching. I'm not reaching. <laughs> what did I do? I turned my car. With, I drove into the, the all, um, uh, what, St. Andrew's yes, church, the church. Uh -huh. parked the vehicle, called a motorcycle. Because now I had calculated it was more risky for me to sit in. The, I would have missed the job. Yes. So I had to get onto that motorcycle and we went through traffic and I arrived just a few minutes late, whereas I would have missed the entire opportunity because of traffic. And you managed to deliver what you needed to do. That's what I'm saying. But it took me taking more risk to achieve the goal. Okay. If I had said, ah, me, I just want safety. I want security. Then you come around and I say, don't want you know, traffic yes. in Nairobi. So there you go. And you miss the entire opportunity that is in front of you because you're chasing security. Oh. And what guarantee did I have that even in my car, I could not have gotten into an accident? Do you get you, what I'm saying? Yeah, you didn't have the guarantee. There's no guarantee. So in certain scenarios, you take different risk. Can we talk about money now? Yes, please. So that we understand. Yes, now we, now, we merge it together. Now this concept of what I've been talking about. Any investment is a risk. Even banks fail. See, we've seen banks fail. Yes, they collapse. They get closed. Yes, they with people's money. Subsidiary and all that. Very good. But most of us are very comfortable with a savings account in a bank. Which is very dangerous, I think. Why, why, <laughs> no, no, no. Why do you... <laughs> Where did you jump from <laughs> peace to being very dangerous? Why do you think it's so dangerous? People are using my money <laughs> to, to make money. Why don't you use yours as well? Anyway. Yes, I want to use mine. But story for another day. That's fine. <laughs> so we are very comfortable because we see bank savings account secure. Yes. Very low risk. But then think about it. What low is returns. the return that you're getting Very low returns. 
and they are using my money they are trading with my money and they are making money can i can i make you upset please do <laughs> for a moment yes you know where most of that money goes so you give them yes. your cash the bank puts it all together they lend the waidakas no, no 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 they don't even do that they cross the street they go to central bank Oh, who yeah. is offering them a bond which is giving them 12 13% they buy another cds all they do get their 12 13% and cross back the street and give you your 4 5% so they've made your a, bank. they've made their 8% with the money that we have been putting in now for savings but it's it a is a good thing for those who have low risk or cal- that's their calculated risk their goal requires a calculated risk i mean that that level of low risk oh so the i get goal. goal so what's my goal if my yes. goal is not that yes so that will not work for me correct but if my goal mm-hmm. and i i have the degree mm-hmm. of taking up more calculated risks then that's not for me we will always talk about an i told you your savings account is an investment and it is a very good investment yes but for what That it has to a question. It needs to have a goal. But yes. many of us don't have a goal. We are just channeling 10% there as yes. if it's tight. Yes. Channeling 5000 channeling yes. and then you, for, for what? what? I get you. Maybe this is just bad. <laughs> <laughs> when I think about it, I know many women who tell me I saving like I know a yeah. lady who has a lot of money in her savings mm-hmm. and then I was asking, "Sweetie, una plan ku use pesa ilini?" And then I told her, "What if you just died?" She said, "Tell her your matamaya, touch wood." Yes. I'm like, "Honey, you have over 4 million in your account. Una fanya nini?" get something a goal rent put mortgage you're still renting and you're just yes. saving 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 yes. and the, th- the thought process is that 4 million you think it's a lot of money until the day you have god forbid somebody sick in hospital you just has to it's go- gone yeah in a day that happened to me some time back and i'm just saying we we are assuming that things will always be the same they are not going to be the same so the example is not that the bank account savings account is a poor investment it is a very good investment for the right thing so you need to have a goal for it so can i give the example now yes so if i put my okay so perspective on what we're talking about here yes so currently inflation is somewhere between 7 8% yes okay uh, this is a crazy time because of oil prices because <laughs> of everything, everything else go, that yeah, is going on at this up. time okay and it's around the world so believe me it's not just kenya it's everywhere yes. i mean the us is having the Mumeskia, highest inflation yes. my adults it's everywhere uh, yeah the us is having the highest inflation in decades not years decades mm-hmm. anyway so if inflation is 8% and my savings account is giving me 4% return per year what is actually happening to the value of my money the money that's in that savings account it is reducing in value because it is going to be able to buy less over time yes so even if it is there 4 million today is not the same as 4 million in 20 years or 4 million 20 years ago or even 4 million for last month yes yeah because if unga now goes up to whatever price it's going to be suddenly the buying price of that cash disappears yes so does that mean it's a bad investment no if you are investing for the right thing Do you, so the, me, the, we go back to what's your goal exactly. what why are you investing exactly. why are you saving so let's have an idea mm-hmm. our goal is i had you before the show speaking to is it your daughter yes yes, yes on yes, the phone it was yes. so cute <laughs> <laughs> i do that at every other link to make sure i put her to bed yes and she was asking for three more minutes to yes. watch to watch whatever she was watching yes. that's so cute <laughs> How old is she? She's eight, turning nine. Eight. So you have ten years before she's going to university. Yes. Okay. So let's look at this. You're paying school fees. I don't know if she's almost on holiday or she's she's about yes. to go on holiday. Yes. Yes. So you're saving money to pay school fees for next term. Savings account, wonderful. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it is secure. It is safe. And when you need the money, I'll just pay you can school. get it out. Yes. If you're planning for her university which is in 10 years, savings account one of the worst investments you can make. Okay. Why? Because the value of that cash is As actually said, reducing a, yes. over a period of time. My 100,000 will not be the same 100,000 come Correct. 10 years. What about policies? I know that we're not talking about that. Yes. I had hear people talk about <laughs> educational policies. Yes. Is that advisable considering someone is thinking like my child maybe they're in preschool yeah. or they're in uh that uh six niners mm-hmm. and you still have another 10 to 12 years. Yes. Is that advi- uh, advisable? Again, let us understand investment. Okay? Cuz some people invest in policies. I know you've heard Correct. of that. 
and if you think about it no let, let me let me take it let me take it step by step because i think if if we come at it with the wrong perspective we're going to have a, an issue and uh, now i want you to take a breather Sour, no problem. then i when i come back so that i don't need to break you down <laughs> okay. you give it to us step by step Sour. and especially when it comes to the education part Sour. because i know many of us sometimes get uh, are not informed i'm not i don't say it's wrong info information mm -hmm. but we're not informed or we have not calculated our risks hey. and most importantly you said we need to have a goal if you're just joining in this is Pius fm the show is the adults in the room we're talking about what you need to know before investing i hope you've had the factor I will going to be finding you every link. Do you have a goal? Have you educated yourself financial literacy? Uh, do you of value? Do know you do you have value as a person? Plug into this conversation through our social media handles, Spice FM K E on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our WhatsApp line is 011-0288162. Send in your questions and I'll be able to send them right into Mr. Odaka and he'll be answering Spice. So what are your thoughts about educational policy? And you are enlightening me and educating me when it comes to certain policies. I have a child who is going to nine years old. And if someone wants to start saving for their education in a savings account or in a policy, is it wise or not? So let's start off. Remember the, the points we began with, and I love that you keep repeating them. So first of all, there's yes, a goal. Because I'm trying to sensitize many people. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I, if I'm honest with you, I've yeah. made certain mistakes. Mm. Some I've learned along the way. Mm -hmm. And as you were speaking, yeah. I was calling myself in a meeting, introspecting. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. Check that you messed up. <laughs> so here's the thing. Is it really a goal that you want them to go to school? Not yet. <laughs> Why? Because are all the schools the same? Remember that's where we started this session? Yes. They, so which school are they going to? So I need to start saving for the school. Please understand. The school that you are dreaming. And I know everyone is going to say Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, Stanford. Yale, Stanford, all good. South Africa. Do you understand <laughs> that today to go to Stanford or to, you're talking about anywhere between <laughs> 24 and 30 million shillings yes, today? I said then I was like, this child has to do a local arrangement. I'm at a Jipeleka peke. I no. To <laughs> he, no. <laughs> Now that you say, you say <laughs> all you're doing, I'm not taking the goal away. Yes. I'm saying, have you recognized it? Yes. Because if it is 24 million shillings today, when your daughter is going in 10 years from now, it will not be 24 million shillings. True. It will be more. Yes. So the first place when you're sitting across from that insurance agent is to say, I want my daughter to go to X university. So can we plan Makere, with X? Yes. Kamani Makerere. Thank you. Kamani University of Nairobi. There we go. Because they are if not it's the abroad, same. Okay. If it's abroad, we plan with that. The, that's an actual goal. Okay. Because the timeline, you know, 10 years. Yeah. The, but the amount, you don't know until you actually say it is this university. Do I need to put an inflation rate as we're doing Obviously that? Obviously, you do. So in a Centronomy 101 class, the second class you go through is called time value of money. And you begin to see how do you adjust for inflation in the next couple of years. It's just a simple process. You can even Google about that yourself. But in applying it to yourself, it takes time to actually think, what was the goal that I wanted to go for? So anyway, you will sit with that advisor and say, I want them to go to X university and it's in 10 years time. So you calculate, it will cost me if, you are, if it is 2 million today, in 10 years time, it will cost me 3.5 million. Yes. Good. Now you put the policy together for 3.5 million, not 2 million of today's money. Because many of us just take policies for the sake of policy. Yes. We don't have goals. You don't. Or we don't, we've not said that it is X, it's Spice FM secondary. Yes. It is Dash primary school. Yeah, we we just put it for the sake of putting it. Yes. And sometimes when you reach there, it's not sufficient. Imagine it, you have adjusted for inflation, you worked for it and you say it was 3.5 million, 3 million, but you arrive there and the insurance policy as promised gives you two. Where do you go for the 1.5 that is missing somewhere? That's the issue that we are facing. Okay. So without the actual goal, then you're going to be in, a, in an odd situation. Okay. So set the goal, which is time you know because of yes, the age of your child. child. Yes. So now, which university do you want them to go to? Now you're setting a proper goal. Okay. Then now you be clear and specific. So I don't want to steal that. Hey, your child can go to the university you want them to go to. If you put in the work. And proper planning. That's on it. it. So the thing is, many times we'll sit down and say, oh, it costs so much money. Yes, it does. But guess what? Do other people send their children there? Yes. yes How did do. they do it? They earned the money and they invested wisely to get them it's to that It's not that, that they place. were super rich, as we say, and they're like, hey, they, be they became. 
They built and became. Okay. Why can't you? In fact, if there's anything people can take away from this session is why not me? And that question is one that puts, puts the, the responsibility on who? On mm -hmm. me. Because you have heard of people who didn't even go to school and they became multimillionaires, if uh, not billionaires. And they're thriving. And they're thriving. Why? And you with your cum laude. <laughs> Summa cum laude. Summa cum laude. You're struggling. You're struggling. And it's because we don't often take the responsibility. Now, I'm not saying that terrible things don't happen in life. Yeah. And I'm not saying that there are not difficulties in life. But those who enter life with that positive mindset that, guess what? I want my children to go to that school. They find a way to get their children there. True. Because now you have set your mind to do that thing. And many times when people come to our classes at Centonomy, they wonder, why do you spend so much time on mindset? Because guess what? In this same world, in this same world, there are thousands of people who are saying there are no jobs in this country. Yeah. And I wonder, have they ever gone to Brighter Monday or any one of these other job websites that are out there and seen the thousands of jobs that are available? It's only you're not the one they want. There are so many other platforms, LinkedIn. What Thank you. Have you made an, a, ch an, a chance or a moment to put yourself out there? The jobs are there. Have you made yourself valuable enough for that job? Okay. And we cannot, cannot keep talking about it. Somebody else's responsibility. It's me. If I want it, I will find a way to get there. You have the ability. I'm speaking to you, listener. God has put an ability within you that if you unlock, can bring you to the things that you want, the things that you desire. So the same thing with this investment strategy that we're talking about. We're saying now set the goal. You see, we don't, even if it's the lowest university, how do you know where you're going to be in the next 10 years from now? I don't even know where I'll be, but even I can the, plan. So all you're going to do is plan and say, oh, guess what? It will cost me this amount. Let me start where I am. So I understand that my current investment amount may not be sufficient, but how, how do I know what I, where I'll be next year? If I know what I need to do, then I become the thing that I want to become. I like that. If I know what I need to do, yes. I become the thing that yes. I want to become. That's it. Because that's the only way that humans ever become better than what they were before. By looking and saying, I want that. <coughs> so, anyway, set. So you're asking about the, in the insurance policies. Yes. Are they good or bad? It depends. <laughs> On the goals you have <laughs> the set. The goals that you have set. And if they're specific. There we go. And if now you find... Hey, look, this policy, if I look at the if I look at the premiums that I have to pay to achieve the goal that I set and I can't afford the premiums right now, then I look for the investment that is going to get me to that. So I don't stick to that. I look for an alternative. That's it. And if they if I can match the premiums, then pay them. And that's a good way to get to your goal. But it starts off with what is the goal? I like the part that you're talking about, what it starts with the goal. And mm. many of us, I feel that's where we fail. Yeah. And I like the part you've talked about the risk and most importantly, calculated risk. Mm. Do you feel as a society, mm. our risks are not calculated? Yeah. <laughs> or we go with the flow? <laughs> yes. Because people want to be told what to do. We, unfortunately, our education system in the past <laughs> has really trained us to be told everything. You know, you're waiting for somebody to come and tell you, do this. It was that thing of go to school, then you go to high school, then you go to university, then you get a job, then you get married, then you buy a house, then you die. You've There's a told. system. Yes. There's a system. So when now you're being told, think, suddenly you can't think. I think if there's anything about this whole new CBC system that I'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> is that my children are being forced to think. Yes. <laughs> Go and find this and I, build and that. I like the part that you yeah. talked about mindset because yes. I think that is where we need to just change and shift a bit. And the, the worst thing about having that mindset that somebody is going to tell me is then somebody will tell you. But they remember, they always have an agenda for your money. They have an agenda. Uh, yes, uh, that, one have, I, that one I'm taking home <laughs> so also. Anyway, so, so all you're hearing is, I put my money in this thing and in two weeks I had doubled that money. So you don't care how, how, how you didn't even ask how did that happen? What are the fundamentals? What were the risks? All you had was Auntie put... Two million here, and in two months it was four million. In fact, she got five hundred last hey, week. Hey, hey, 
they're not telling you about the risks, the ones you're Very talking good. about. They're not yeah. telling you what they've gone through. They're just telling you about the profit or the uh, return of investment. That is how you get into a pyramid scheme and your money is lost because you are the last ones to come in. You're gone. Hey, that happened to me. Story for another <laughs> day. Now, before we get into more questions, there's someone who had asked, uh, Mr. Ibrahim, what are your thoughts about this play now, pay later? Uh, uh, brilliant. I don't have anything else to say. Yes. Yes. So make the investment now. Um, your shilling today is worth more than a shilling tomorrow because of inflation and yeah. also because of the potential for investment. So take the advantage today. Yes. And then there was a question. Uh, we've been talking about CDS accounts. I am familiar, okay. but I've just realized that some of the people who are listening to us, about two people of us, you've seen the questions also on our timeline. Yeah. Barbara, I'm yet to understand what you mean by a CDS account in CBK. Please expound for the person who does not understand or know what a CDS account. Please break it down for them. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. It is simply the account that allows you to buy government bonds. That's it. That's the only thing you need to know. It is the account that allows you to buy government bonds. Now, I said you can walk into Central Bank yourself and open an account, but you can also go through various banks uh, and other brokers that are there to open the account. The issue is it gives you access to the account. But I ask you again, all those who are asking, for what? What is the goal? Because if yes, you don't, just don't go open <laughs> a CDS, go open CDS okay. account because you heard everyone is going to bonds. No. For what? Do you know what they do? Do you know what you want to get out of them? Because it may not be the place for you at the same time. Okay, thank you for that, sir. Um, <laughs> Mr. Indak, I think you got that question. Uh, there are people in this country, depending on the region you're coming from, they want to invest on people, on <laughs> things that Mr. Waidaka can see. I have done this. Uh, mm -hmm. I for one don't believe in that. But what are your thoughts about that? No. Making wrong investments or doing investments for showcase? Yeah, so th there are issues with that. And also, uh, mm -hmm. are homes investments? I would like to hear about now you're that getting from you. into heated discussions yeah, yeah, like no, what, it's we, what we had last time but <laughs> anyway anyway yes they are let me just say that quickly um but again it is about understanding what do these things do for me okay so for instance a car is an investment it has value okay yes all right it helps me to get around it helps me feel good about myself yes i feel good when i'm in my car and Some i'm driving status. okay <laughs> but it is losing me money yes what was the car for was it to make money no so has it has mobility. it achieved its goal in my life yes now the problem is is if i look for that car first and i have no other investments that are paying me to drive that car then i'm in trouble why because i'm just losing money so is the car bad no what is the problem I didn't have the right mindset when it came to my investment strategy. My goals are all over the place. I didn't have a goal even in the first place. Yes. So, uh, to respond to what he's saying, I completely agree. Because if we're just simply looking for those things that people will see, we lose the aspect of what is actually going, what is the fundamental that's going to take care of us. What's the value from this thing? Exactly. Yeah, that's it. So, I, I agree. And it's to think about it. I will never come and say, don't buy that car, don't buy that house, don't buy that thing that you want. I'm going to ask you, how can you do it and do it sustainably? Because here's my question to you. If you become very wealthy, what is that money for? To spend, man. Thank you. <laughs> On what? Those things that you want. Yes. But the problem is if you buy those things that you want and cannot sustain them, it doesn't make what sense. what is the me. point of that? Life? Okay. That's the issue. So you're asking, uh, you've moved in, you've relocated to a new place. And initially you had certain household items, but you got robbed. Now you're starting a fresh life and you still want to invest and do other things, but you also need household items. So you're trying to see which is important or where you can strike the balance. Is that your question? Yes. Okay. Stay on a hold. Actually, just disconnect. Ms. Tawaidaka will respond to it. All right. So uh, again, uh, uh, that's a really tough story. And as, as I said earlier on, in this life, there will be tough situations that yes. you go through. And, and I love reading uh, stories of people who become extremely successful in life because, you know, when you see them in their success, it's hard to imagine that there was a time in their lives that they were broke. There was a time in their lives that they didn't have a job. There was a time in their they lives broken. They, they invested in a business and it, they lost a business. Yes. So when you hear those stories, it encourages you to know that, guess what, even when you're going through a tough time, you can get out of it. So to you, is it Brandon? Brandon? Yes. Uh, 
you can get out of the situation that you are. That's the first thing. Just remind yourself, I can get out of this thing. Then, you know what? In a situation like that, if you don't have furniture, that's a first priority. Mm -hmm. You know, you need somewhere to sit, somewhere to sleep, so that you have a place to sit and think. You need, a, a, you need uh, to be peaceful so that exactly. you have a very good mindset. Yes. But here's the thing. Are you going to go to the big stores and purchase furniture that will take all the money <laughs> that you're going to go or you or you even take it on credit? Or can you find a way to purchase cheaper furniture for this time so that you're able to sit and sleep but not have lost so much money? What you were talking about, yes. calculated risk. There are you using Anduthi? Are you using Matatu? <laughs> or are you using your car? Or are you even walking? Yes. I too didn't be right. I wanted to ask this question okay. and I need to ask this question before we go on a break. Yeah. Do you think it is wise to invest if you're in debt? Yes. Yes, I shouldn't <laughs> invest or yes? <laughs> you asked if it is wise to invest when you're in debt? Yes, because yes. I hear people say, pay your debts first, okay. then get into investment. Unajichanganya. Yeah. So it's, it's a good principle to understand the priority because the debt is likely to, if it's from any of the institutions, that debt is guaranteed. So you must pay it. Yes. But the investment may not be guaranteed in terms of the, the result that's going to come out of it. But please, Kenyans, let me speak to you and anyone else who's <laughs> listening, any human being who's listening to the, the sound of my voice. We as adults, and I like that this show is called The Adults in the Room. We say Kenya is going to No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you've had, I'm sure you've anyway, had that. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, yes. Anyway, as adults in the room, we must adult. And as adults, yes. we multitask. You don't do one thing at a time as an adult. Yes. That's what happens with my five-year-old. When we are doing the maths homework, she's only doing math. We try and remove distractions. No, that's, we are not and five. And that's when she's five. So she, we when you're an adult, you are saving while you're paying debt while you're investing. So all of them have to work. We must do all. You cannot do one and expect that there's going to be a result over time. Because the one resource that you will net, not get back is time. Time is moving. Yes. Every so you other day. must act now in each one of them. But I was responding to Brandon. I was trying to tell him. Y yes. Start with buying those pieces of furniture. Don't spend expensive. But then now you start investing at the same time. Yes. And here's the thing. People think investment is 10,000, 20,000. It is not. Investment is, say, I'm going to put 50 shillings per day, 50 shillings per week and make it consistent. Okay. And then next year, when things get a bit better, make it 150 shillings. This is the thing that we don't... If you've ever seen this on Facebook, this group 52 Weeks Savings yes. Challenge, do it. Go and see the power of small amounts over time. Mm -hmm. That's where we make the mistake and think that it's that big investment. No, 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 no. People think you have to have thousands, uh, uh, millions. You start with what you have. But don't stay there. Grow. Grow. Yes. And then you achieve those goals that you're looking for. Mr. Waidaka, the CEO of Centonomy, is saying you need to grow. You need to change your mindset and you need to stop and remove this analogy that you have to have millions, trillions, billions to save. You can start small. You can start from 50, 50 shillings to 100 shillings. But the thing is, you have to move. You have to grow. The, pre the next year, you have to do better. What are your thoughts about that? Spice FM KE on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter is where we are sending in our questions. You could also call in on 0719 to 600. Let me give him a breather because I still have more questions and I want him to share more gems. You know, when he comes here, I feel like I need to exhaust everything, not only for you, but for myself. Spice.